just gonna duck and cover until this whole pandemic thing is over. And that's been my plan ever since, and it's been going pretty well up until this point. <laughs> what's, what's right in this situation, you know? Is the struggle more noble, or is it better to just surrender for now? If the fighting is getting you nowhere. Anyway, back to Michael Singer and his ideas on suffering. So he, much like myself now, just frustrated at the constant interruptions of his total silence and focus and meditation. And that's kind of how I've been feeling is like, get the world away. I don't even want to reintegrate so far in the book. Michael Singer has accepted some things he didn't really want to. And he has been led down his own sort of destiny. Maybe you don't always need to know. You know? Maybe you just throw some ideas at the wall, see what sticks. I'm not really sure. And then it occurs to me, maybe the best thing to handle the struggle between suffering and surrendering is to just choose completely different emotion. Suffering and surrender. I wonder how much they're on opposite ends of the stick of one another. I've been thinking of my actions over the past few weeks in my life and some lessons that I've learned, even vicariously. This idea of fighting against the world outside. The past few weeks, some unwanted, unexpected things have been knocking at my door, both literally and metaphorically. And it has induced a sense of suffering in me, an extreme struggle. I found myself struggling between decisions, unsure of the right thing, just wanting to protect myself and stand up for what's right. Now I just wonder if things would have been better if I just would have accepted and surrendered from the beginning instead of trying to fight unpleasant changes around me and creating this cycle of suffering as I try to rage against the changes that ha are happening in my life right now. I think about just the immense anxiety and stress and just pain I've been in these past few weeks in this transition just trying to decide whether to go or stay or it's even possible for me in between all the other changes I'm already juggling. I was told recently that I definitely suffer more 
than I need to and definitely more than I deserve to. And I think that's true. I've been reading a book, um, The Surrender Experiment by Michael Singer. I read The Untethered Soul and um, The Surrender Experiment kept popping up um, in my existence, so I thought, okay, uh, maybe I better listen, you know, maybe I better check this out. And it's definitely given me a lot to think about. He talks a lot, Michael Singer, about the voice in your head and how to make it stop, essentially, how to stop it from ruling you, how the voice in your head has all of these preferences about how things should be, and maybe it's better to just stop that struggle and not fight it anyway. Just quiet it, let it have its say. But not to listen or be overly swayed. I'm not done with the book yet, but I'm about, I don't know, a hundred pages in, so about a third of the way in maybe, and already in the book I can see I can see him chewing through something going from seeking the answers to this question of the voice in your head, what it is, and how to make it quiet, you know, his years of Zen Buddhist meditations and sectioning himself off from the world. I feel like I uh, relate to that part very much. I've been wanting to spend some time to myself for a while. Before the pandemic hit, I was getting quite overwhelmed and exhausted with just the <laughs> amount of things going on and the amount of people I was interacting with just on a daily basis was really getting to me. And, you know, I, I had called out an SOS to the universe to help me get away if I could get some time to myself and really recenter. And I guess they say be careful what you wish for, only I'm not sorry <laughs> about being in quarantine this past little bit. I recognize that at this point I've spent such a large amount of time alone. <laughs> uh, I My basic plan, once things started hitting, is that I'm like, okay, I'm just going to, you know, furloughed from my jobs. Uh, and I was just kind of like, okay, well, I'm just going to duck and cover until this whole pandemic thing is over. And that's been my plan ever since. And it's been going pretty well up until this point. <laughs> And I feel like at this point the universe is almost just, or just the flow of life, just how it is, what it, however you want to look at it. I like to think that some invisible force is helping guide my life somewhat. It makes me feel less alone and stressed about <laughs> the seeming futility of reality anyway. But... Uh, yeah, it, it seems as though I've reached a point where I can't really um, duck and cover for too much longer, I don't think. <laughs> I've got to get back out there 
and uh, it's hard for me. <laughs> it's really hard for me right now because I don't want to. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever be ready to, but. Anyway, back to Michael Singer and his ideas on suffering. So he, much like myself now, just frustrated at the constant interruptions of his total silence and focus and meditation. And that's kind of how I've been feeling is like, get the world away. I don't even want to reintegrate. Just let me keep doing my thing. You know, I feel like I'm getting there, I've got to be figuring it out, but I'm realizing now that in my own isolation chamber, um, there, there's, there's limitations there. And um, in Michael Singer's book, he surrendered to events as they were unfolding. Um, and, uh, almost like that idea of like uh, the say yes experiment or that movie I guess I uh, uh, maybe not really like that movie exactly but basically an idea of not resisting and just taking the opportunities as they come and I've been trying to do that as well I'm like processing things and thinking to myself okay maybe the flow of life is telling me I need to move now. Maybe that's why this is happening is because this isn't where I'm supposed to be anymore and I'm supposed to go. Um, so I've been trying to make that happen <laughs> and I've been struggling and I've been bargaining with the, the universe, you know, asking it to prove itself, like feeling like I should do something feeling like it's a natural exit point of sorts, but then when I really started to move and try to make actions that way, I, I found myself coming up against blockages. And it's made me wonder, I mean, what's, what's right in this situation, you know? Is the struggle more noble, or is it better to just surrender for now? If the fighting is getting you nowhere, I'm not really sure. But so far in the book, Michael Singer has accepted some things he didn't really want to. And he has been led down his own sort of destiny. That's about as far as I am. I haven't really fully reached the conclusion. I'm not really sure what mine is either. And I like to believe in this idea that a locked door is just guiding you down further. And I wonder if I, if all of this struggle and all of this fighting and all this trying to move, <laughs> whether I'm ready to move or not, I'm wondering if maybe, maybe that's where I got off course, you know? Maybe instead of that, maybe what should have happened when, when negativity knocked at my door, you know? prices raising and and things aren't ideal maybe I should have just accepted and not fought you know just said okay I'm not sure what the right answer is you know there's that part of me there's this warrior spirit part of me that thinks no and that was just freed and opened by this idea of just opening and and moving and finding a new avenue. And I'll admit, that part of me has been feeling a bit dashed <laughs> these past few weeks as things have not gone exactly as I had hoped they would. Now I wonder, 
maybe maybe when things are hard and uncertain maybe the best answer is to just hunker down and hope the solution works itself out I'm not sure all I know is that the past few weeks I have been going through waves of immense suffering in a way that I haven't felt in a while, so perhaps it's a good reminder of that state. And anyway, I just wanted to try a different video. I was going to go live and just talk about this originally, but then I realized I turned on the camera, I did some tests, and I realized maybe this isn't really a chat room kind of video. Maybe it's not a video that should have been made at all. But some part of me just wanted to express this this struggle that I've been in, and this wondering what the right answer is. I still don't know what's about to happen to me in my life, but I'm hanging on, you know. There have been times over the past few weeks where it's just been really hard to keep believing. Where I felt overwhelmed or pressured or like there's something I should be doing. I like to think it's not as cruel as all that. I'd like to think all this effort has brought me the lessons that's right. It's so quiet. It's so quiet. There are neighbors all around. I feel alone. Maybe you do too. But there are people all around. And I bet at least some of them love you. Maybe that's good enough for now. Maybe you don't always need to know. You know? Maybe you just throw some ideas at the wall. See what sticks. Maybe you just surrender to the answer an answer I felt I had received days ago to stop the struggle. The struggle or surrender, which is more noble Which one feels better? I 
have wondered if all this struggling lately is just a form of mourning. Mourning for some loss, sense of loss of something. Maybe when you realize you're not actually in control of your life. in some ways, to some degrees. Is that a scary thought? Or could that somehow be freeing? to me maybe the best thing to handle the struggle between suffering and surrendering is to just choose a completely different emotion maybe something more like curiosity or something more like something more like wonder, something wild, undone. Recognize an ending. When its beginning is begun. Where am I on that spectrum? brooding thing curls in on itself like a mantis layers on layers on so perhaps the best choice when given the choice between struggle and surrender is simply to choose another answer and go from there. <laughs>